Hi, in this next video I'm going to set up an Itri Streets project. What I'm going to do is quickly move through the steps of creating and configuring a project and where I'm starting is on phase 2, page 27 of the Itri Streets manual. So I would highly suggest that you look at phase 1 which goes into more detail of project planning. The manual itself can be accessed through the help menu or it can be downloaded from the itreetools.org website. But my goal here is just to move through the progression rather quickly and just to give you a feel of how the application works. So with streets open the first step is to select file open and then new project. And what we're going to do is specify and create a new database and I'll just call this pilot test. I'll fill in this information here. This will be for a neighborhood in Chicago. You have the option of complete or sample inventory. I'm going to use complete since it's just for a pilot test. You then have to select a climate region. There's a map here if you need to refer to this. I'm here in the Midwest. We'll select finish. What you'll see is that streets will then generate a number of dialog boxes. So we'll fill in some of this information. This is information that goes into the location database. I'm not going to worry about some of this information pertaining to municipal budge budgets, population, and so forth. We'll just bypass these for now. You'll see another dialog box, define costs. This is also related to the city's cost of maintaining trees. If you are interested in getting a cost benefit ratio, say for a city forestry program, we don't have to enter any information in there. So I'll, I'll select OK it then shows a benefit price dialog box and here again these are defaults for the Midwest these can be modified so if you happen to know more local resale values of average homes in your area you can modify that you can modify electricity rates or gas rates some of the information that relates to pollution very hard to find so most people accept those defaults and then we'll hit OK and this is the user defined box this is the most important area and we will come back in our next video and spend a little bit more time on this one in detail but what I want to do show you is if you just hit OK streets quickly did a saved project it's kinda of hard to see but you actually have a saved project and we're ready if we wanted to collect data although we do need to come back and look at that user defined field so if you get to that point all that information is under the input you can go ahead and reopen those back up and then modify these so we'll do that in the next video we'll come back to that field and spend some time there but you can come back if you happen to figure out what that more localized resale value is you can update that here in the project and once you do that we'll just do a file save project and leave it at here for now.